can't get to me yet Cause in a fire they must spread them bed If you bite the ends that feed you You're just like a walking dead Let me tell you none of them can't get to me yet Cause in a fire they must spread them bed If you make a blind man lead you You're worse sad than a walking dead Tasha T I would say, you know, um, I was brought up in a Rastafarian home, brought up with my mom. And I mean, at a tender age, I started to select music, sound system, Roadblock International in Canada. And that's how I really got started into the music. I did my first record at a very young age as well with Trevor Jr. And I mean, you know, I, I, I know I'm destined to do this. I was born to do this because from then, I've been continuing, pushing my career, doing lots of talent shows, opening for many, many artists, you know, um, winning awards after awards in Canada for Best Female DJ, Songwriter of the Year, Producer, and so forth. And, you know, I, I did my first album, 2005. And I see the journey, you know, for me, it's been a very long, long journey. But, you know, Tasha T, as a woman in the business, you have to be strong and I tell every upcoming artist that you have to be strong mentally, physically and spiritually, you know, because you have so much negative, you know, that comes in the way and try to discourage you from your dreams. So, you know, I believe I'm a, I'm a very strong woman, you know, um, in the business and it doesn't stop here for me. It's something that is a long lasting thing because for me, it's all about the message in the music. And that's what my music is all about. The message in the music to uplift, to educate, to motivate, to inspire the people of the world and especially the youths them of today. So I'm very happy of, you know, everything that's happening right now for me because I just feel like I'm stepping up the ladder, you know, one by one, you know, waiting to reach that goal. And, you know, I'm humble within about it. So there's no rush, no fuss. I just have to continue doing what I'm doing. And as I said, I'm very happy of the album, the Real Talk album, nominated for the, the Juno Awards, you know. So, you know, the journey is long, but, you know, I'm very pleased of where I'm, um, where I'm at right now. Better Fire, the creation started from one pop studio produced by Rory Baker and Paul Patchy Wright. And I mean, how the song came about, it was a time when me and Patchy were was discussing about people who are ungrateful and the things you do for them, they don't appreciate it. And it just happened that we were there in the studio and, you know, the drum track was there. And we just started to write and sing the melody to the drum track. So this song means a lot to me because, I mean, in my experience, you have people where you do so much for them and they don't appreciate it, you know? So my thing is that you have to appreciate everything that someone does, no matter how small or little it is, you know? So this song means a lot to me and I'm sure it means a lot to everyone else, <laughs> you know? So, yeah man, better for you, I would say. What that song means to me, that song speaks to a lot of things in my life and it means that I should make sure that I'm not led by somebody who doesn't know where they are going. And as it say, you can't make a blind man lead, you know. You have to know your purpose and what you want and how to get there and who to walk with in order to get there. So you hear me and say, you know your idea them never come out to nothing good. So open for follow with that scamming idea you for. Don't forget about the past, man. I know me I did it. Follow me, and we can take you out of this poor life where you live. The video was very interesting to me in terms of, I mean, I, I didn't really have that vision of the, the whole concept of the video, but when Wayne came to me and, and put the treatment together, I'm like, yeah, because, you know, I wasn't really thinking on that terms, in terms of the message, so. You know, it, it's great because, I mean, now the video is out and a lot of people is seeing the whole message of the song, Better Fire. The, the message um, with the song and the video, I feel it relates, um, you know, in a way where people can understand it more in terms of, you know, 
you can't make the blind man lead you. You know, the blind can't lead the blind. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And, you know, you can't be ungrateful and bite the hands that feed you. And that is really the message in the song as well. And hold the camera like this. Just like Daniel in the line. firm until the end. Boom, I get that, okay? okay. Holding firm until the end. Let me tell you, none of them can get to me yet. Tasha T's Bed of Fire. It's an interesting song and I'm glad that she actually approached me about it because what happens is when I first heard the song, most, most songs that I hear, I'm able to put together a treatment in, you know, like under 20 minutes, really easy because, well, that's what I do. But this song in particular, when I heard it, it took me a little bit of time. I even found myself actually calling Tasha, you know, and kind of bouncing heads with her and trying to understand exactly what the song meant to her because this song it's kind of like, I could say it's multifaceted because she's talking about several things, several situations. She's saying, you know, don't buy the hand that feeds you, which implies that you shouldn't be ungrateful. So after this man helped me at my time I need, when a brother should give me a job, I feel use the opportunity to turn on and rob him. There's more than one thing that she's actually talking about in the video. And I'm thinking to myself, well, what would be the best way to bring this across? You know, what would the best way, what, what would the best visuals to bring such a thing across without actually, you know, going with the stereotypical zinc fence video where you see some people suffering and some people crying and they say like a bad mind scene here and a bad mind scene there. No, I tried to make it look different, so I went to this story vibe. Hey girl, take opportunity when opportunity presents itself. No, me and your daddy from the start. Home to loyalty. Sometimes I don't think it's appropriate to cut the video and to go to a story and come back to the song because it kind of breaks the momentum. But it being the kind of song that it is, I thought it was the best thing to do. Then the family start. From the start, me suffer till me get this. You never help me get this. So there's a story where there's one guy who comes to, comes to this other friend of his and he comes to him with a scamming idea. And basically, this is the blind leading the blind aspect of the video. Follow me. And we can take you out of this poor life where you live. Follow you. Things might not be good for me now, but the blind can't leave the blind. Right now, just come out of my yard. She's also speaking about biting the hand that feeds you. That's the ungrateful aspect. There's a shot with this lovely lady working in an office and this guy tries to, you know, mix her up into this scam to rob the person who she's working with. That goes towards the biting the hand that feeds you part. You ever get the same as a star for Magadad, Magadad, turn one night? Now you're telling me for bed and you feed me? That naga up. So we were very much looking forward to styling Tasha T on Better Fire uh, with Rev Jewelry and all the other wonderful designers we represent. Um, we were on set and they needed an extra person to jump in and to improvise. And um, uh, the wonderful director who is working on the production, Wayne, uh, you know, just had me there uh, spit a few lines. It was very interesting because it was actually my acting debut. So why did I ask her again? <laughs> So what happened to Owen? You had him still a link? Yes, that's on. Last thing me hear police catch him and try to rob somebody, please. And then pick up a huge shot. <laughs> oh, you mean Owen's <laughs> dead? Some good shot. <laughs> but it was really fun. It took me out of my uh, comfort zone. And I um, actually discovered talents I didn't know I had. So uh, I really enjoyed doing that. Um, and I'm, I'm happy that I could. I was able to contribute to even further to, um, than what we were offering already in terms of styling and complementing her with a beautiful look that um, would would really work well with her videos. So, like acting in that was just the cherry on top. It was really fun. So I'm to Owen. You had him still down? Not at all. Last time here, police catch him and rob somebody, please, and him pick up a couple shots. Where you really said to me, Owen dead? Yep. That's the best way I could have thought to break it down in a way that everybody could actually relate to. Some people can actually empathize and know that, yeah, this is possible, this could happen to me. I try to do it in a way that it's not too far-fetched either. So many people from different walks of life can relate and say, okay, well, you know, this could really happen in real life, you know? Lionel Ricketts, along with four others, were arrested today in charge in connection with activities carried out by a local scamming ring. Tasha T, she did a really great job. You know, her performance on camera was really good. It was a really, really, really good vibe. I like working with female artists who know how to actually present themselves. She presents herself in a really roots manner, but at the end of the day, at the same time, it's still a sexy manner. She looks sexy and roots. So she still keeps her Rastafarian roots there, but it's still 
it's presented in a really sexy way. I love the way it looked, I love the way she presented herself, I love the way she was styled, the way she was dressed. It all came together with the backgrounds, the environments that I chose and what have you. Hi, I'm Dwayne Bennett. I'm the Director of Concept, Design and Production for Rev Jewelry and Accessories. Now Rev Jewelry and Accessories is a partnership business. My sister and I, um, and our involvement in terms of the Tasha V video was at first when we heard Tasha T, we thought it was in a line with our company. And we strongly believe in that artists aren't made, they're born. And so it was a natural given, you know, her, her energy, what, what the words were saying in the song. Um, it, it was so easy for us to work with her. Um, Rev is known for one of a kind pieces and it's bold, it's dynamic, it's unique. And we thought that Tasha T embodies all of this. We jumped at the opportunity to actually style uh, this wonderful video, Better Fire. When I first heard it, we're actually, I was um, in attendance with my brother and co-owner of Rev at an event and we heard it and we thought it was so powerful. So of course, being a marketing manager, I had to promptly go over and, and um, pay compliments to Tasha T, where I found the lyrics so powerful, it was well delivered and just introduced our company, our company to her and let her know that in whatever way we could facilitate her or um, you know, compliment her in, in anything that she's doing in the near future would be more than happy to be a part of that. Um, little did we know that um, the same uh, song, Better Fire, that we were so rocking to and enjoying would have been the one that we uh, would have worked on and styled with her. So it was a great honor. It was, a, it was really fun the day. It was long, but it was great. <laughs> Just like a walking dead. So far, being here in Jamaica is always a great vibes and I notice every time I come to Jamaica and I do any kind of performance or so, you know, the people are very receptive of me, you know, so my main reason here, you know, to come into Jamaica was to perform at the Jaria Reggae Month event, um, that was ladies night and also um, to do some more promotion on the Real Talk album. And also, um, I actually um, came on board um, with Conscious, Conscious Reggae Party and the UNIA, the Black History School Tour, which was very wonderful, knowing that Tasha T is the musical ambassador for Read Across Jamaica Foundation. So, you know, the, the journey is it's going well, it's going great, and I'm planning to be coming back again to shoot my second video with Wayne, so, <laughs> you know, I'm really looking forward for, you know, the next time I come back around, which wouldn't be too long to do some more promotion and, you know, continue building my, my fan base here in Jamaica. What the people could expect more from Tasha T is more positive music, um, definitely another album, my third album which will be released sometime um, next year, 2016. I'm also looking forward on doing some more shows, heading to Europe and do some promotion there as well. And I'm looking forward um, for great and bigger things for Tasha T. I'm looking forward to, you know, putting together a foundation for the youths <coughs> in the near future, having my own studio because, I mean, I do have that little talent and skill within me to produce and mix and so forth. So I'm really looking forward to doing some more good things and producing upcoming artists as well. So definitely, yeah, the future is bright for Tasha T. Tasha is a nice artist, you understand? And she has one thing I like every time I say, all right then, all right then, we like it and thing. And <coughs> she has vibes and energy and thing. And she has far to go on. I've done quite some work with her and I'm looking forward to doing more in the near future. You understand? So, as a matter of fact, we start looking more tracks for the next album already. So. I'm looking forward to seeing this video really add to Tasha T's already successful and growing career. Fabricated Projects, Tasha T. I would definitely like to say thank you to everyone that played part in this video. First, I have to thank Rastvibe Records, Inc. I have to thank 
Wayne Benjamin from Fabricated Projects and his crew, Sibi, the makeup artist, Kwesi Dan, you know, his assistant, and the whole crew, the actors, I mean, TC, you know, Vanya, Colors, um, Siom, Kess, Markel, also, you know, Leroy Brown, as well, um, Shante, who was a taxi driver, you know, everyone. And I want to big up Rev, um, Rev Jewelry, who provided the, the outfit and the accessories. It mud, it mud, it mud. <laughs> and Daniel Stone from DTS Design, you know, who was part of it as well, that made that nice, sexy orange skirt for me. So, you know, enough, enough love to everyone, to the, to the producer, Patchy. Um, Rory and just everyone you know and all everyone that has been supporting Tasha T so enough enough love love you Walking dead, just like a walking dead. 